After months of campaigning, primary election day is here, and now it's in the voters' hands to decide who will move on and who will go home. Our political reporter, Kevin Rader, is here now with our Indiana Insiders for what tonight could bring. Kevin? Yeah, I'm really excited here. Jennifer Hallowell, uh, Republican, Democrat Robin Winston, and Dr. Laura Wilson joins us here today. It's good to see everybody. Good, good to see, see you, Kevin. All right. What are we expecting tonight? Well, um, I think that as you go through every election, all day long, people are asking about turnout. We're hearing yeah. a lot of reports that turnout yeah. slow. I've also heard reports that turnout is high in certain parts of the state. So um, I think that it's going to be interesting to watch. Certainly the U.S. Senate race is very, very competitive and um, I think is very unpredictable. Then we also have a couple of congressional races that are really close and should be interesting to watch. Robin, what are you watching? Well, we're waiting to see who emerges as an opponent to Joe Donnelly. But uh, turnout, I talked to people up in northwest Indiana today. It's not very good up there. I'm hearing light all the way around. And in northeast Indiana, Fort Wayne, it wasn't very good. So those are two big, you know, areas we'll be watching tonight. Uh, here in Marion County, it was good turnout. Now, I always think, does that favor anybody, Dr. Wilson? What do you think on well, the it, Senate race? It could, especially, I was going to say, for the Republican candidates in the Senate race. I think turnout was critical uh, because this is one that it's been a, a nail-biter. It's a three-person race. Uh, I think it's really important. I'm a little disappointed, but it seems that turnout has been so low. We'll have to see what the actual numbers look like. Uh, but that is really important. Yeah, what does that say? We've had, I mean, television's been wallpaper with this, and we've still got a low turnout. Are we surprised? But maybe we don't. I mean, it's a primary election, so turnout is always lower in a primary election. Um, the, early, the early vote um, totals were higher than what we saw in 2014. I think perhaps people are comparing this to 2016, which was, you know, historic presidential election. So you really have to look at a similar situated year, another off year, 2014. That's what we're comparing to. Who do you think they're gonna, Donnelly's going to face? Oh Any boy! Idea? Right off the bat, <laughs> um, you know some there, some Hard of my friends say. are for certain people, and others are for other people. And I'm with my friends, <laughs> so that's I don't know. Great not answer, right? <laughs> Who do you, all right, that's going to do it for us. Of course, we'll be on WTHR all night long. John, let's go over to you.